Uh, my first step is um, I, I put a beeswax on the paper mm -hmm. all, all over the design and then I stick mm -hmm. the straw. I do the outlines first. I push it in with my finger and nail. Oh, wow, with your nail. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And um, then I, I cut it. Did you see his cat? Wow. The cat yeah, the cat here, is amazing. All the pieces in here. It's just amazing. It's a lot of movement, definitely, mm -hmm. for something like linear, like straw. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's definitely very skilled. Uh, I took my first lessons when I was about five, five years old, five, seven. My dad, he used to have his um, small gallery uh -huh. down in Tijuana. <laughs> and I used to um, help him um, making little pieces. And yeah, pretty much I was working every day after school. Actually, my, my parents for, forced me to learn this. You know, I was little, five years old, you wanna be playing around stuff, but my dad, he pretty much for, forced me to learn this technique. When I came to the US, I forgot about this type of artwork. I started doing other things, working in construction and different. Then um, I got sick in 2013. Uh, my bowl ki uh, kidney fell, and I was on, on dialysis for, for a while, probably more than a year. And then uh, I was very depressed, very sick, and um, I got a kidney transplant. But in all that process, I took back this artwork, yeah. which keep me, uh, to keep my mind occupied, you know, in those moments. So then that's when I took it back. It is a dying art in Mexico, actually. Yeah. It is very hard to find it in Mexico. Yeah. I, I think I'm the only one in the U.S. who does it right now. And my goal is to keep this art alive. Yeah. Um, and I learned this, this technique from my grandma and my parents. So I am the third generation of the family. Yeah, my son yeah. is learning now. He's start making his own pieces. He got a video on TikTok that go viral, like two million views.